Hi, welcome to today's vodcast. Title of today's program, Electrical Interactions. Have you ever wondered about this? Or this? Or this? Well, if you have, then this is the vodcast for you. Let's begin by looking at how we charge objects. There are three methods through which we can charge objects. Electron transfer can occur through friction, conduction, or induction. One thing to keep in mind when we talk about charging objects is the law of conservation of charge. And it says that during any charging procedure, the amount of total charge never changes, although we can redistribute charge from one object to another. The net charge of an isolated system is conserved. Let's firstly look at the most common and everyday occurrence of charging objects, and that's through friction. Most people have experienced charging through friction when two objects rub against each other and one or both objects appear to get charged up and we can use them to exert forces on other objects. Theory generally says that certain materials on the top of this list, sulfur, brass, copper, will hold on to their electrons tightly while things at the bottom of this list, fur, wool, glass, have a loose hold on their electrons. So if you were to rub an object at the bottom of the list with an object at the top of the list, you would expect that the electrons would tend to move from one to the object to the other. Let's take a look at a common example of this. Here's a balloon that has an equal number of positive and negative charges on it, a sweater that has an equal number of positive and negatives, and a wall, again, that's net neutral because it has a balance of positive and negative charges. When you move the balloon and rub it against the sweater, you'll notice that the balloon, which tends to hold on to electrons a little more tightly, will steal some of the electrons from the sweater. So now you see we have a net charge on the balloons, which would be negative, a net charge on the sweater, which is positive. I can show you this if I just toggle the option here to show the charge difference. So there you are. If we get rid of the positives and negatives that cancel each other out, we still end up with extra negatives on the balloon, extra positives on the shirt. But note that at all times, there was still the same number of positive and negative charges. We never eliminated charges. We never added charges to the system. We just managed to redistribute the negatives and the positives. Before we go too much further there, let's talk a little bit about the law of charges. Whenever we have like charges, they tend to repel each other, and unlike charges tend to attract. Let's go back to our simulation. The balloon, which is now negatively charged, will be attracted to the positively charged shirt. When I release it, notice how it drifts and attaches itself to the shirt. If I add a second balloon and give it a similar charge to the other, I should be able to show that these two balloons will repel each other. There you go.